Hey guys, how's it going? Coach Matt here. Hope you guys are happy. Hope you guys are healthy. Hope you guys are ready for another exciting ninja workout today. And today, I have no idea what we're doing. That's right. I have no clue what we're going to do. Because we are going to be guided and led by the ninja wheel of fortune. As you can see, there's many options on this wheel. We got cardio, we got a push-up workout, we got ab workouts, we got leg workouts, we got jump workouts, and then my favorite choice, obviously, is coach match choice. I get to pick whatever workout we're gonna do when it lands on that. So, throughout the entire main workout, we're gonna keep spinning that wheel. We're gonna do a different workout every single time. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna do some creative stuff. It's gonna be super cool, but as always, we have to warm up first. So we're just going to do a quick uh, warm up. So let's do some jumping jacks. Just get the blood flowing. Nothing crazy. Just warm up. Light stuff before we get into it. Just keep it going. Just want to get the blood pumping a little bit. Move everything to the muscles. Just like that. Alright, let's do some high knees. Just jog into it. Just some high knees. Nothing crazy. Again, we're just warming up and everything. Go. That's it. Super good. Alright, ready? Let's do a little stretch too, just to make sure we're nice and limber. So, ready? Feet together. Hands up. We're gonna touch the toes. Again, really light warm up. Nothing crazy. And we're gonna let the wheel guide us. <laughs> there we go. If you guys ever watch SpongeBob, it's like the SpongeBob episode where they let the conch make the decisions. This is our conch. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? We do a little quad stretch, just like this. Stretch that out. We stretch our hamstring. Now we're stretching our quad. The whole leg. Now switch it over. Here we go. Don't fall over like I am. <laughs> Make sure you guys have good balance. Very good. All right. Ready? We're gonna get this show started. Like I said, real quick workout. So I'm going to show you guys a spin every time so you guys know I'm not lying. There we go. What's it going to land on? We got legs first. Super good. So we're going to do one quick leg workout. What we're going to do is we're going to do the crab scuttle. I'm going to show you guys how that works. You've seen it before. So we're here. you got to be legs bent a little bit, kind of like halfway into a squat. Hands up like a crab. This is important. <laughs> you got to do that too. Make sure you have a little bit of sideways room around you. How it's going to work is we're going to stay low, knees are bent, crabs go, touch negative one, two, touch one, two, touch one, two, touch. You see my knees stay the same bent, the same level of bent the entire time. You can't stand up like this. You have to stay bent as you start. So we're here, start in the middle, make sure your hands are pinching like a crab, <laughs> and we're going to go end to end 12 times. Here we go. Ready? One. Let's go, two, let's go, three, keep it going, let's go, four, let's go, five, that's it, let's go, six, keep going, let's go, seven, let's go, eight, let's go, nine, keep it going, ten, knees bent, eleven, and twelve, Woo. shake it out just like that, and in between every workout, try to take a deep breath, before we allow the wheel, to lead us again, here we go. Next decision. Hope you guys can see that. Ready, we got, who's right in the middle? Push up, perfect. So we're gonna do a push up workout. I'm gonna start a little easy on you guys. We're just gonna do wide, medium, close push up. So we're here, gonna get into a push up position. We're gonna start in a wide one. We're starting wide. We're here, we're gonna do one wide, one medium, one close just like that, and then you go back out to wide. We're gonna do 12 total push-ups. So that's four each, four wide, four medium, four close. Should be nice and easy, get the muscles warmed up. If it's a little hard for you, do as many as you can. I'm proud of you as long as you try your best. Here we go. Let's start out wide, let's get this body rolling. One, two, three, one, two, three, halfway. One, two, Three, there we go. One, two, and three. Woo! Shake it out just like that. Like I said, take a deep breath. There we go. And let's get the wheel out so we can decide 
what we're doing next. Ready? Oh, there we go. We're spinning. Hope you guys can see that. Here we go. And we're doing cardio. There we go. This is going to be the hard part of the video for me because <laughs> I can't talk with your cardio at the same time. But we're going to try. So, ready? We are going to do what I like to call a jogging routine. To start jogging. There we go. And in this jogging routine, we're going to have three commands. Command number one is skateboard. If I say skateboard, we got to do 360 and keep going. Now, if I say bench, we got to jump over the bench. So when I say bench, I need to come up as high as I can. And if I say tunnel, we gotta go under the tunnel, go down the ground, do one push up, and keep on jogging. So we're always gonna be jogging, we're doing a command. That makes sense, here we go. We got skateboard, we got bench, we got tunnel. Let's go. Now right, we're jogging, doing our jogging routine, skateboard. Keep going, just gotta keep jogging the whole time. Ready, bench. There you go, keep it going, keep it going. We're jogging, and tunnel. All right, so that's all three examples. Now I'm gonna mix it up on you guys. Here we go, tunnel. Here we go, keep it going. Keep jogging, keep jogging. You're not tired, skateboard, skateboard, skateboard. Woo there we go, now falling over. As you keep it jogging. I said bench, bench, tunnel. As you keep it going, we're going full speed now. Keep jogging, ready, bench, skateboard, tunnel, and jog it, and jog it, a little bit longer, we're still going, that's it, ready, bench, ready, bench, and skateboard, there you go, Woo. all right, shake it out, catch your breath, just like that, we're gonna let the wheel decide, What's next? We're gonna do a lot of these wheel spins. Let's see what we're gonna get. Looks like we got <laughs> we got Coach Matt's choice. Perfect. I get to pick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an ab workout. We really haven't done one of those yet. So we're gonna go into the ground. We do an ab workout, and we're gonna do one of my classic favorites, Russian twists. So here, feet are up in the air. You're resting on your backside, shoulders up in the air too, hands are together, tap one side, tap the other side, make sure you're doing it fast, and you touch with both hands, feet are staying in the air, shoulders are in the air, nice and easy. We're going to go for a big number, we're going to go for 30. So one tap, two tap, three, all the way to 30. So if you can't do 30, do as many as you can until you drop. It's totally fine, as long as you try your hardest, I'm super proud of you. But we're going to max out at 30, so let's give it a go. Feet are up, elbows up, hands together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Don't forget to breathe while you do this. 16, 17, 18, 20, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 30. I didn't think of a couple extra there. There we go. So I wasn't counting the whole time I was talking. Woo. If you did 30, that's super good. Shake it out. Set your breath. Now we're gonna let the wheel lead us again. Hopefully get more coach match choices. I love that freedom. What do we get? Oh, we got it right in the middle. Jump workout, here we go. We got a good jump workout. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on jump lunges with a 360 twist. It's gonna look like this. I have to do a jump lunge. Start with whatever foot you want. I'm starting my left foot in front, so I recommend you do the same. So left foot goes to the front. Lunge, jump, now we're doing the other leg, jump, once I get back to here, I have to do 360 and land back with my left foot in front. So it's left, right, switch to my left, jump, I land back with my left again. One, two, left, spin. One, two, left, spin, just like that. So you can start whatever foot uh, you want in front, but it gets a little confusing if you do the opposite. So do the same with me, left, right, switch to left, spin, land left. Here we go, we're only gonna do 10 of those. Let's do any more, <laughs> we're gonna get dizzy. So we gotta do 10 total spins, that's 20 lunges. It's gonna be super fun, here we go. Ready, so start with that left foot in front. Ready, left, right, switch to the left. One, left, right, switch to the left, two. Left, 
right, switch to the left, three, left, right, switch to the left, four, there you go, don't get too dizzy yet, five, Woo. left, right, switch to the left, six, almost, left, right, switch to the left, seven, three more, left, right, switch to the left, eight, left, right, switch to the left, nine, last one, left, right, switch to the left, and ten, Woo. shake it out just like that, catch your breath, super good, and again, we are going to let the wheel decide our feet, there we go, what we got, perfect, we got an ab workout, super good, we got another ab workout coming, what we're going to do, we're going to do a plank workout this time, it's going to be a special plank though, watch this, so we're going to get into our plank position, and we're going to do up down planks, so I'm here, my elbows are on the ground, up down plank is a little challenging, but you guys are going to figure it out, so we're here, when I go up, it's both hands at the same time. Up. So my shoulders push, with my muscles I push, and I push my hands down, and I get my hands onto the ground. So I'm here, push, and then I get back down. Push, get back down. So our abs are working out because it's the plank. We're also doing a lot of workout in our triceps and our shoulders because we have to launch ourselves into the air. Super fun workout. A little challenging, so I'm only gonna do 10. If you can't do that, uh, if you can't do 10, do as many as you can. I'm proud of you. But we're gonna try as hard as we can. Here we go. In our plank position, you gotta jump, get back down. Here we go. One, two, three, that's it. Four, five, six, seven, that's almost done. Eight. Nine and ten. Woo! Super good. Check it out. My arms are sore after that one. Also, our abs. I want a little lighter ab workout because we just did one before. But now we're going to go back to the wheel. See what it gives us. Here we go. Hope you guys can see that. Ready? I won't be able to know until it's too late. <laughs> Ready? We got a push up exercise. Super fun. We're going to do my personal favorite push ups now that we're warmed up. We're gonna do blast off push ups over here. Gotta get into a push up position. Just like this. My knees are a little bent on this one, I'm gonna show you. Knees are a little bent, the back is a little bent. If you ever watch football, I'm kind of lined up like a, a lineman, the, the guys who form the line. I'm kind of lined up like them, but I have two hands down. My knees are bent like that, I'm leaning forward. So I'm here, every time I count, I have to straighten out my bent knees, and I lean into my arms, push up, and lean back into that kind of squatted frog position we're in. So we're here, we're lean back, push up. Lean back, push up. We're blasting off into it. Again, it's extra weight, extra momentum, so it's a little harder to do, but real fun. We're gonna try and do 12 of them. One, two, 12. Try that. If you can't do 12, do as many as you can. I'm gonna go for 12, that's the max. If you can do more than 12, go, go right ahead. Let's get it going. All right, so we're in that bent, kind of frog football position. Here we go. One, two. If you're wearing socks, it'll be a little harder to make sure your feet don't slide, but that's just an extra challenge. Six, seven, eight, nine. Keep it going. 10, 11, almost done. 12. Woo. Here we go, check it out. A little bit of a leg workout if you're wearing socks. <laughs> you try not to slip inside. We're gonna do two more, maybe three more. We'll do three more. Three more wheel workouts, and we'll be done for the day. So we got next. Here we go. Looks like it's gonna be cardio. We got cardio, here we go. So you're gonna hear Coach Matt had a breath again. <laughs> All right, so this cardio workout we're gonna do is we're gonna do scissor jumps. Those look like this. I'm in my lunge position, so my feet, as you can see, are a little bit wide apart. I'm not doing a split, but they're not like super close. A little bit wide apart. And how this scissor jump works is I'm gonna jump up, and my knees are gonna switch in the air. 
twice. So I'm going to switch, switch, and with my left foot in front again. Switch, switch, just like that. Switch, switch, just like that. So I'm always having my left foot in front until we eventually switch feet. So we're going to do 12 scissor jumps with the left foot in front. So one, two, all the way to 12. Then we're going to stop. We're going to switch real quick. And then we have to switch and get the right foot in front every time, just like that. We gotta go real fast, so it's working cardio. 12 left, 12 right, that's 24. One less than 25, my favorite number, one of my favorite numbers. <laughs> so here we go, we're gonna do 12. Start with your left foot if you wanna do the same as me. I recommend that. Here we go. One, two, three, go as fast as you can. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Switch quick, here we go. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, woo, eleven. Got a little confused. So help. There we go. Check it out. A little confused with some time. We got two more workouts to do. Let's get it going. All right. Ready? I wonder what you guys are hoping for. <laughs> I'm hoping for my choice. Oh, we're close. Oh. We got a jump workout. So the last one was kind of a jump workout. But now we're going to do another jump workout. Okay. We're going to do line jumps. We're going to do them in a box. So I call them box jumps. Kind of like a line jump, but you're going to see. I want you to imagine there's a line, a plus line on the floor. So it's shaped like a T. It's on the floor. Start in the top left corner. So there's a top left, top right. Back right, bottom left, we're starting at the top left right here. So as you see, I just jumped in all corners. You all four corners. That's the point of the box jump. We gotta jump in all four corners over and over and over again, working on our calf muscles. I'm gonna start in the top left. We gotta make 10 full rotations. So one, two, three, one rotation, just like that. Go all the way around. One more time I'm gonna show you. Okay, so starting top left. One, two, three, one rotation. Okay, ten rotations. Here we go. Start on top left. Get ready. I uh, see our jump workouts and our cardio workouts kind of mixing. <laughs> but it'll be really fun. Here we go. Three, two, one. So first one, just try to get two useful footwork. Three, and then speed it up. Four, make sure your jumps are big. Five, six, keep going. Seven, hit every corner. Eight, nine, and ten. Woo! Super good if you're faster than me. I'm proud of you, that's good. We got one last workout we're gonna do. So see what we're gonna get. Ready? Give it a big spin on that one. Ready, come on. Beautiful. We got push-ups. Here we go. We're gonna do one more push-up workout. We're gonna go out with a banger. Something real hard, real challenging. I call these shoulder press push-ups. So it's like a blast off push-up, but even more blast off. So we're gonna come here. I'm gonna start with my feet straight. I'm gonna put my hands on the ground like I'm touching the floor. But I have to put my hands on the ground to make sure my knees don't bend. So if I can't touch this close to me without bending my knees, don't touch that close to you. Touch further out in front of you. If I touch further out in front of me, my knees didn't bend, I'm comfortable here. We're gonna do push-ups right from this position. I call them shoulder press push-ups, because most of your shoulders doing it. From here, my hands are as far as they need to be to be comfortable. Now I gotta bend just like this. I make my head go towards the floor. You gotta to touch your head in the floor. I like to tap it just so I know I made it all the way down. Tap it like that. Made it all the way, super good. We're gonna try a big number, so it's real hard. 15 shoulder press push-ups. You can't do 15, do as many as you can. Make sure you don't squash your head in the bottom. <laughs> Just do as many as you can safely. We're gonna go for 15. We're gonna see if we can do it. Really try and push yourself, challenge yourself. The place that you improve the most is when you pass your limits. When you pass your limits, it's all positive improvements. So here we go. In a position, I'm a little bit out. It's all comfortable. Hands are spread equally. Let's get going. One, two, three, that's it. Four, my knees are not bent. 
Six FAR, it's super minute. Seven, eight, keep it going. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, last one, 15. Woo! Slowly come on up, shake it out. That was the Ninja Wheel of Fortune workout. So we're definitely gonna do that again, because that's a really fun workout. But for right now, we're just gonna cool it off. We can try another video if you guys like. I'm definitely cool for it, but let's cool off first. A lot of cool. <laughs> Let's do some arm circles if you just did a lot of push ups, especially those shoulder ones. Those are pretty difficult, spin it backwards. You always want to try your best every workout video. I can show you all the workouts, but you have to be the one to push yourself and try your best. As long as you try your best, you're going to improve every single time. Even if it's just a little bit of improvement, you're going to improve every single time to be the best ever. That's how you gotta look at it. You gotta push yourself. And then you'll become the best. There we go. Ready to shake our legs out. Do a lot of jumping, a lot of cardio, a lot of squats, lunges. There we go. All right, that'll be all for today. Hope you guys have had a blast. I had a blast. Hope you guys are happy and healthy. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.